the Nightmare Headstone. It includes the following locations. Nightmare Frontier. Lecture Building. Nightmare of Mensis. Starting with the Nightmare Frontier. The Dreamlands exist directly parallel to our own waking world. While the waking world is the domain of humanity, the Dreamlands are the lands of the Great Ones. These two worlds exist like a reflection of one another. The Nightmare Frontier appears to be a reflection of the ravaged Thumerian land of Loran. As evidenced by the fact that silver beasts wander the frontier and that amygdala drops the ailing Loren chalice. Connections Lecture Building First Floor Two Nightmare Frontier NPCs Patches the Spider Patches Event if you look up to the right while crossing the bridge after cliff top, you'll see a small ledge on the cliff face overlooking the swamp patches the spider is hanging there on the cliff. Just above where a number of shining coins have been laid out to lead you down toward the item. If you follow the coins down, a cutscene will trigger and patches will knock you down into the swampy gorge below. If you want to get an item at the end of the ledge, you'll need to make your way back around to get it. Upon defeating Amygdala, you will also receive the Ailing Loran Chalice, which will allow you to create the Ailing Loran Dungeon. The cold blood flower bud you can find in this area is one of the necessary ritual materials for this dungeon. But you'll need ritual blood four times nine as well. So heading into other dungeons first is necessary. Sinister Bell Ringer online. Bell Ringer is located at upper cave accessed from the beginning of Central Swamp. When the Bell Ringer woman is present, versus PvP invasions are possible. World changes. Amygdala defeated. Acquire the Ailing Loran Chalice. Gain access to Amygdala's Chamber Lamp. Area progression. And go to the lower caves to get the clockwise metamorphosis carol rune. Venture to the end of the swampy gorge to get messenger's gift. Defeat amygdala to acquire the ailing Laurent chalice. Enemies. Regular enemies. Wandering Nightmare drops Bloodstone Shard times two. Wandering Nightmare. Wandering Nightmare drops Bloodstone Shard times two. Large Wandering Nightmare drops Twin Bloodstone Shards times three. Large Wandering Nightmare drops Bloodstone Chunk times two, Twin Bloodstone Shards times three. Crawler drops Thick Cold Blood level six times one, two percent. Thick Cold Blood level five times one, eight percent. Thick Cold Blood level four times one, ten percent. 
strong enemies. Lauren Silverbeast drops random gem based on area times one twenty five per cent. Giant Lost Child drops Bloodstone Shards times three eight per cent. Bloodstone Shard times one twenty eight per cent. Lead Elixir times one two per cent. Large Crawler drops Thick Cold Blood level six times one fourteen per cent. Thick Cold Blood level five times one sixteen per cent. Thick Cold Blood level four times one twenty per cent. Winter Lantern drops random blood gem based on area times one thirty three per cent quicksilver bullets times three sixty two per cent pebble times ten five per cent hunter enemies hunter of despair hunter's axe and hunter's pistol drops Lead Elixir times one. Hunter of Despair, Threaded Cane, and Flame Sprayer. Drops, Lead Elixir times one. Item Treasures. Madman's Knowledge times one. The corpse to your left after you finish climbing the short incline leading from the Nightmare Frontier Lamp to Rocky Path. Lead Elixir times two. From the ledge in Rocky Path where the first Lauren Silver Beast is, turn right and look for a ledge above Cliffside Cave you can drop down into. And they are on the corpse. Madman's Knowledge times one. The corpse at the bottom of the gap in the middle of Hunter's Ledge. Fading Lake Carol Rune. The corpse at the very top of Hunter's Ledge overlooking Central Swamp. Blood Vial times two. Just before reaching Central Swamp from Swamp Approach. Turn right and take the path below the cave opening in the wall. They are on the corpse near the Bloran Silver Beast. Cold Blood Flower Bud times one. The corpse on a platform below Tombstone Ledge in Boulder Valley, reached by running and jumping from Tombstone Ledge. A bolt paper times two on a corpse behind the giant lost child hurling boulders in swamp overlook. Lead elixir times two toward the end of cliffside trail when the path travels up a mountain. Turn to the left instead of right and go into the small clearing. They are on a corpse there. Cold Blood Flower Bud times one. After crossing the Broken Tombstones Bridge, follow the trail of shining coins to the cliff. It is on the corpse at the end of the trail. Trying to collect it the first time will cause patches to kick you into the swamp below. Clockwise Metamorphosis Carol Rune. Take the lower cave's path until you reach the giant lost child. Instead of progressing, turn around and take the left path leading downward. It is on the corpse at the end. Blood Vial times two. The corpse at the start of the upper cave's path just before the wandering nightmare. 
Madman's knowledge times one. Take the lower cave's path to Central Swamp Bank. It is on the corpse leaning against the exterior of the second cave entrance. Stunning Deep Sea Carol Rune. Take the lower cave's path to Central Swamp Bank. It is on the corpse overlooking the swamp. Reached after dropping down to the ledge where the first cave entrance is. Frenzied Cold Blood, level 9, times 1. The corpse surrounded by crawlers in the cave above Central Swamp Bank. Antidote, times 4. The corpse leaning against the rocks near the swamp edge in Rocky Spur. Lead Elixir times two. A corpse near the lone wandering nightmare in Swampy Gorge. Near where you fall after being pushed by patches. Antidote times three. Same as previous. Messenger's Gift, the corpse at the end of the Swampy Gorge. Madman's Knowledge times one. The corpse against the wall, found just after dropping down from the cave opening above the central Swamp Bank path. Cold Blood, Flower Bud times two. The corpse on the small island in the swamp, just prior to the tunnel leading to cliffside ledges. Clear Deep Sea Carol Rune. The corpse on the ledge behind the giant lost child in Rocky Outcrop. Frenzied Cold Blood Level 8 times 1. The corpse on the platform sticking out of the side of Rocky Outcrop on the side facing Swamp Approach. Frenzied Cold Blood, level 8 times 1. The corpse at the end of the second lowest ledge, found by dropping off the side of the path before the Winter Lantern on cliffside ledges. Lead Elixir times three. The corpse at the end of the lowest ledge, found by dropping off the side of the path before the Winter Lantern on cliffside ledges. Madman's Knowledge times one. The corpse by the cave opening that drops down from cliffside ledges to Swamp Cave. A bold hunter's mark times three. The corpse just before the narrow bridge that leads across Tombstone Swamp from cliffside ledges. Frenzied Cold Blood, level nine, times one. The corpse on the raised island in the middle of Tombstone Swamp. Madman's Knowledge, times one. The corpse against the wall on the far side of Tombstone Swamp, just before the entrance to the Swamp Cave. Frenzied Cold Blood, level 9, times 1. A corpse in Swamp Cave, just before the narrow path near the Winter Lantern. Great Deep Sea, Carol Rune. In the narrow path at the back of the swamp cave. Take the left path when you get to the fork. It is on the corpse surrounded by crawlers. Kin Cold Blood, level 10, times 1. In the narrow path at the back of the swamp cave, take the right path when you get to the fork. Then left at the next fork, it is on the corpse by the crawler. Blood vial times three. 
the corpse on the cliff accessed by the narrow tombstone bridge leading to elevator path. Madman's knowledge times one. The corpse on the bridge leading to amygdala. Area highlights. Bosses. Amygdala. Enemies. Wandering nightmare. Large wandering nightmare. Crawler. Lauren Silverbeast. Giant lost child. Large crawler. Winter lantern. Hunter of despair. Hunter's axe and hunter's pistol. Hunter of despair. Threaded cane and flame sprayer. NPCs. Patches the spider. Important items. Fading lake carol rune. Cold blood. Flower bud. Clockwise metamorphosis. Carol rune. Stunning deep sea. Carol rune. Messenger's gift. Clear deep sea. Carol rune. Great Deep Sea, Carol Rune. Insight events. Plus two insight. Arrive in the area. Plus three. Encounter amygdala. Plus three. Defeat amygdala. Lecture building. The lecture hall of Bjergenworth has been somehow warped and transported into the dreamlands. The lecture hall is connected to the nightmare, which consists of both the nightmare of Mensis and the nightmare frontier. And judging from the fact that a church giant is found in the upper levels, it's possible that the school of Mensis moved into the Nightmare Lecture Hall at some point in time. Notice that when the hunter opens certain doors in the lecture hall and transports to the nightmare, the same warping effects and particles occur as when the hunter uses a lamp. The Dreamlands are a location that exists parallel to our own world. They have a landscape just like we do, only they play by slightly different rules. Teleportation is just another method of transportation in the Dreamlands. The Dreamlands exist directly parallel to our own waking world, while the waking world is the domain of humanity. The Dreamlands are the lands of the Great Ones. These two worlds exist like a reflection of one another. Connections. Cathedral Ward 2. Lecture Building. First Floor. Yarhagul. Unseen Village 2. Lecture Building. Second Floor. Lecture Building. First Floor 2. The Nightmare Frontier. Lecture Building, Second Floor, 2. The Nightmare of Mensis. NPCs. Patches the Spider. World Notes. Lecture Building, Second Floor. Lecture Building, Theater, Second Balcony. Master Willem was right. Evolution without courage will be the ruin of our race. A lecture building, second floor. Room after, lecture theater, second balcony. Hunt the Great Ones. Hunt the Great Ones. A lecture building, second floor. Room next to Nightmare of Mensis Door. The Nameless Moon Presence 
beckoned by Lawrence and his associates, Pale Blood. Lecture building, second floor, room next to Nightmare of Mensis Door, three third chords. Area progression, first floor. After obtaining the tonsil stone, go to the room at the end of the cliffs in the Cathedral Ward and get caught in the false god's attack to be transported to this area. Go through Lecture Theater 2 to get Augur of Abritus. Open the door at the end of the main hallway to reach the Nightmare Frontier. Area Progression, second floor. Go along the Lecture Theater 1 balcony to get the Communion Carol Rune. If you did not obtain the Tonsil Stone and access Nightmare Frontier previously, you can go there now by going down the ladder in Patch's Lab to reach first floor, and follow the main hallway along that floor to reach the door that takes you there. Go through the door at the end of the main hallway to reach the Nightmare of Mensis. Enemies, first floor. Regular enemies. Scholar, bare hands. Drops, Quicksilver Bullets times three, eighteen percent. Sedatives, times one, two percent. Scholar, bare hands, ceiling, no drops. Scholar, flask, drops. Quicksilver Bullets times three, eighteen percent. Sedatives times one, two percent. Enemies, second floor. Regular enemies. Scholar, bare hands. Drops, quicksilver bullets times three, eighteen percent. Sedatives times one, two percent. Scholar, bare hands. Ceiling, no drops. Scholar, flask, drops. Quicksilver bullets times three, eighteen percent. Sedatives times one, two percent. Strong enemies, church giant, flame fist, drops. Bloodstone Chunk, times one, four percent. Twin Bloodstone Shards, times one, ninety-three percent. Blue Elixir, times one, three percent. Item Treasures, Lecture Building, First Floor. Lecture Theater Key, the Corpse of the Lecturer in Lecture Theater 1, First Floor. Student Set. The corpse in between the tiers of seats in Lecture Theater 1, First Floor. Augur of Abritus. In the chest in the locked room connected to main hallway, accessed via... Lecture Theater 2, First Floor. Madman's Knowledge, Times 1. A corpse in Waiting Room. On the side opposite the door, First Floor. Approaching will trigger a Slime Scholar to drop down. Madman's Knowledge, Times 1. A corpse in Waiting Room on the side opposite the door, first floor. Approaching will 
trigger a slime scholar to drop down. Red jelly times two. The chest in the back corner of storage room, first floor. In lecture building, second floor. Sedative times six. The corpse in second floor waiting room on the side opposite the door, second floor. Bloodstone chunk times one. On the path to lecture theater one balcony. Turn right before going to the door to the balcony and proceed down main hallway. It is on the corpse against the cabinet behind two slime scholars, second floor. Communion, carol rune. Follow lecture theater one balcony all the way around until you reach a door that leads into a previously inaccessible part of main hallway behind two cabinets it is in the chest second floor area highlights enemies scholar bare hands scholar flask church giant flame fist npcs patches the spider Important items. Communion, carol rune. Student set. Augur of Abritus. Red jelly. Lecture theater key. Bloodstone chunk. Insight events. Plus two insight. Arrive in the area. Plus two, set eyes upon, patches the spider. Nightmare of Mensis. When Mikolash and the school of Mensis sought an audience with Murgo, they would likely never believe the events that would have transpired from it. The sacrifice at their own physical bodies was needed to project their minds into the realm of nightmares. But that sacrifice served their needs and bore its fruits. This realm was hosted by none other than Mikolash, and it was by his own design or want that the nightmare of Mensis came to be. Connections, lecture building, second floor to Nightmare of Mensis. General notes, making a contact. Perform a full make contact gesture received in Upper Cathedral Ward in front of Brain of Mensis after you drop into the abyss. And to get the moon carol rune. Sinister bell ringer online. The bell ringer is located at Mergo's loft base. Infested chapel right balcony and Mergo's loft middle at the end of the moonlit path at Murgo's loft rooftop. All present from the start. When the bell ringer woman is present, versus PvP invasions are possible. World changes. Mikolash, host of the nightmare, defeated. Vertical lift bridge will rise. The Murgo's lift middle lamp is activated. Murgo's wet nurse defeated. Gain access to the wet nurse's 
lunarium lamp acquire one-third of umbilical cord. Area progression. Pick up the I Carol rune from Murgo's Loft base. Get the Moon Carol rune from the library staircase. Go to the chapel rafters and get the choir bell. Drop down through the crumpled wall on the middle bridge to reach the room containing the blood rock. Defeat Murgo's wet nurse to obtain one third of umbilical cord. Enemies. Regular enemies. Parasite larva. No drops. Rabbit dog. Crow head, no drops. Carrion crow, dog head, drops. Pebble times one, six percent. Pebble times two, three percent. Antidote times one, one percent. Nightmare apostle, drops. Quicksilver bullets times two. 30%. Murgo's attendant, unarmed, drops. Random dirty gem based on area times one, 1.5%. Murgo's attendant, crossbow, drops. Random dirty gem based on area times one, 8%. Murgo's attendant, flail, Drops. Random dirty gem based on area times one, eight percent. Skeletal puppet. No drops. Wandering nightmare. Drops. Bloodstone a chunk times three. Strong enemies. Lauren silver beast. Drops. Random gem based on area times one, sixteen percent. Giant lost child drops. Bloodstone shards times three, eight percent. Twin bloodstone shards times one, twenty-eight percent. Light elixir times one, two percent. Large nightmare apostle. Drops. Quicksilver bullets times eight. Twenty-seven percent. Murgo's chief attendant. Drops. Random dirty blood gem times one. Thirty percent. Shadow of Yarnum. Sword. Drops. Blood vial times three. Twenty percent. Blood vial times two. 20%. Shadow of Yarnum, Sword and Candle, drops. Blood Vial times three, 20%. Quicksilver Bullets times three, 20%. Shadow of Yarnum, Mace and Fireball, drops. Blood Vial times three, 20%. Quicksilver bullets times three, twenty percent. Man eater boar, eyeballs, drops. Blood vial times four, twenty percent. Blood vial times two, eighty percent. Winter lantern, drops. Random blood gem based on area times one, thirty-three percent. Quicksilver bullets times three, sixty-two percent. Pebble times ten, five percent. Brain of Mensis drops. Living string times one. Hunter enemies. Choir Intelligencer Edgar drops. 
Sedatives times three. Item treasures. Frenzied cold blood level nine times one. On the corpse at the end of Trail's End, just after the wandering nightmare. Blood vial times eight. The corpse in front of the perilous bridge near the sleeping Loren Silver Beast. I, Carol Rune. The corpse behind two giant lost children on the way to Mergo's loft base lamp. Frenzied cold blood level nine times one. The corpse at the base of Boulder Hill to the left of the end of Perilous Bridge. Bloodstone Chunk times one. The corpse behind the second giant lost child as you climb Boulder Hill. Bloodstone Chunk times one. Turn left before the steps to infested chapel and check behind the rocks in the small clearing. It is on the corpse in the alcove. Kin cold blood, level 10 times 1. The corpse on the balcony connected to chapel hallway where the bell ringer spawns. Madman's Knowledge, times one. The corpse at the end of Chapel Hallway, behind the Nightmare Apostle, on the ceiling. Shaman Bone Blade, times six. The corpse in the alcove on the back wall of Infested Chapel, behind the Large Nightmare Apostle. Yellow Backbone times two. Turn left as you enter Mergo's Loft entrance from Lower Bridge and follow the walkway around the corner. It is in the chest. Frenzied Cold Blood, level nine times one. The corpse near the base elevator shaft in Mergo's Loft Entrance. Beast Blood Pellet times one. Turn right upon entering the library from Mergo's Loft Entrance. It is on the corpse hidden behind the screens at the end of the path. Blue Elixir times two. From the library, Instead of taking the stairs down to the Panopticon, continue along the narrow ledge. They are on a corpse at the end. Madman's Knowledge, times one. The corpse near the ledge directly in front of the base of the stairs, leading from the library to the Panopticon. A lead elixir times two. The corpse by the ledge opposite Panopticon elevator. Tempering damp blood gem. The corpse in a hanging cage on the way to elevator station. Guarded by a carrion crow. You must jump or roll into it from the raised area. Kin Cold Blood, level 10 times 1. A corpse on the lower balcony down the stairs near elevator station. Bloodstone Chunk times 1, same as previous. Quicksilver Bullets times 6. The corpse on the steps in the Mikalash host of the nightmare boss fight past the door in middle bridge gate sedative times three as you enter the second half of 
the Mikolash host of the nightmare boss fight, turn left and go down the stairs. They are on the first corpse. Moon, Carol Rune. As you enter the second half of the Mikolash host of the nightmare boss fight, turn left and go down the stairs. They're on the corpse at the end of the path, behind the Murgo's chief attendant. Blood Vial times eight. As you enter the second half of Mikolash, host of the nightmare boss fight, turn right and go up the stairs. They are on the corpse on the stairs. Quick silver bullets times six. The corpse in the short hallway outside the room where the final confrontation with Mikolash occurs. Kin cold blood level ten times one. A corpse in library hallway on the wall opposite the glowing mirror. Iron door key. A corpse in library hallway next to the glowing mirror. A frenzied cold blood, level nine times one. A corpse on the walkway above the mirror Mikolash jumps out of, opposite the room the final confrontation with Mikolash occurs in. Bloodstone chunk times one. The corpse on the small platform adjacent to the drop into where the final confrontation with Mikolash occurs. Bloodstone chunk times two. The corpse on the raised platform in between the two staircases on upper balcony, surrounded by carrion crows and rabid dogs. Inflicted organ times one. The chest at the entrance to upper bridge at the end of the corridor after jumping out of the elevator. Kin cold blood level 11 times one. A corpse on upper bridge against the wall facing the moon just before the top of the tower in the middle. Tempering damp blood gem. A corpse on upper bridge in between the two winter lanterns on the way to infested attic. Choir bell. The chest in chapel rafters opposite the door to middle bridge behind the winter lantern. Great One's Wisdom, a corpse on Middle Bridge in front of the Brain of Mensis. Arcane Dam, Blood Gem, same as previous. Great One's Wisdom, times one, same as previous. Great One's Wisdom, times one, same as previous. Great One's Wisdom, times one. Same as previous. Damp blood tinge gem. A corpse on middle bridge near the stairs that lead to iron door. Madman's knowledge times one. A corpse on middle bridge near the stairs that lead to iron door. Blood rock times one. The bottom of the tower the brain of Mensis is hanging on, reached by dropping carefully down the middle bridge. Bloodstone chunk times two. When approaching rooftop stairs, go left instead of climbing them. They are on the corpse in the small alcove overlooking moonlit path. Bloodstone chunk times two. The raised platform at the end of the moonlit path 
near the bell ringer and shadows of Yarnum. Nourishing damp blood gem. The corpse near the tree halfway along Boar Alley before the set of stairs where the two man-eater boars are patrolling. Kin Cold Blood, level 11, times 1. A corpse in Boar Alley in the alcove past the steps where the two man-eater boars are patrolling. Kin Cold Blood, level 11, times 1, same as previous. Yosefka's Blood Vial, times 1. The chest near the base of the stairs leading to the elevator that connects back to rooftop path. Area highlights. Bosses. Mikolash, host of the nightmare. Murgo's wet nurse. Enemies. Parasite larva. Rabid Dog, Crowhead, Carrion Crow, Doghead, Nightmare Apostle, Murgo's Attendant, Unarmed, Murgo's Attendant, Crossbow, Murgo's Attendant, Flail, Skeletal Puppet, Wandering Nightmare, Lauren Silverbeast, Giant Lost Child Large Nightmare Apostle Murgo's Chief Attendant Shadow of Yarnum Sword Shadow of Yarnum Sword and Candle Shadow of Yarnum Mace and Fireball Man-Eater Boar Eyeballs Winter Lantern Brain of Mensis Choir Intelligencer Edgar. Important items. I Carol Rune. Moon Carol Rune. Blood Rock. Choir Bell. Bloodstone Chunk. Yellow Backbone. Tempering Damp Blood Gem. Iron Door Key. Inflicted organ. Tempering damp blood gem. Damp blood tinge gem. Nourishing damp blood gem. Insight events. Plus three insight. Arrive in the area. Plus two. Encounter. Mikolash, host of the nightmare. Plus two. Defeat. Mikolash, host of the nightmare. Plus three. Encounter. Murgo's wet nurse. Plus three. Defeat. Murgo's wet nurse. This concludes the nightmare headstone.